rainy day out today, so I decided I was going to make another YouTube video. And for this week, I'm going to show you how I varnish my acrylic paintings. Um, I've got a painting here that I just recently did um, for a painting lesson, and I need to put another coat of varnish on it. So I'm going to show you exactly how I do that. I use Kamar varnish, which is a spray varnish. So you want to make sure you're in a ventilated area. I'm out in my garage right now, um, and I've got a few doors open over uh, on the side of me here, just so I can have a lot of clean air coming in. Uh, the fumes to this stuff is pretty bad, so if you want to wear a mask, you can do that too. Uh, the first thing I do is I lay the painting flat on a, on a cardboard box, and the reason why I lay the painting flat uh, is because when you spray the varnish and you spray a nice thick coat, you don't want it to run at all. If you read the directions, it, it recommends that you put the painting up maybe on an easel or upright and you spray from 10 to 12 inches away. Well, I don't really follow the directions. I, I like to lay it flat um, and spray a little bit closer. That way I get a nice, thick, even coat and I don't worry about any runs or bubbles. And so I'm going to change the camera angle and show you exactly how I do that. Okay, like I said before, I'm using Kamar varnish, which is made by Krylon. Uh, it's a, a pretty much a semi-gloss type varnish. It will protect your painting from light, dust, and all the other types of elements that might damage your painting. Um, and once you have a nice coat on there and it's dry, you can take a light cloth, uh, light damp cloth, and uh, wipe your painting off every few months. Uh, to keep the dust off of it. Okay, to start out, I start by shaking the can itself, and I start on one edge, and I continue to shake, and I go up and down, and move across horizontally. So I do a strip, up and down, and move across. And by shaking it, you'll keep the varnish coming out, at a nice even pace. Okay, once I get all the way across, then I do the same thing up and down. And I've got the can about four to six inches above the painting. Okay, and once I do that a few times, I like to look back and kind of tilt my head a little bit to get the light across the painting. And what you want to look for is any patches that have a thin coat of varnish. Uh, you can spot those by looking and you see the texture of the canvas, and then you'll see a flat, shiny area. The flat, shiny area has enough varnish on it. The textured area might not have enough. So what you can do is shake the can, go back, and find those few spots that need a little extra and apply it as necessary. And you want it to look nice and flat and kind of shiny. Okay, so that takes about 20 minutes to dry on a regular summer day. Uh, today is pretty wet and rainy, so I'd give it at least an hour. It could take up all the way to two hours on a rainy day to dry, uh, but you want to leave it nice and flat, and so that way the varnish uh, dries flat on the canvas and you won't get any of the runs or the bubbles. So that pretty much covers on how I varnish a painting. If you have any questions you can visit my website at www.timgonyourstudio.com. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.